there. So I saw this trailer and I couldn't help myself. I needed to stop and share a tip with all of my friends out there. This is an example of what could happen when there's a freeze thaw with your snowmobile trailer. And in this particular case, if you could see down here, um, this thing is frozen in pretty good. I can move some of it away, but there's no, there's no getting that out right now. So a good idea when you're taking your trailer disconnecting it from your tow vehicle is to put something underneath that little wheel or if there's no wheel it just has a flat um, base at the bottom put that on top of a piece of wood or a concrete block or something like that to keep it from having a problem like this where in this case there was a freeze thaw and it saturated and refroze there and in the springtime it could be mud that uh, would have the trailer jack sinking into the ground and it would just save yourself a whole lot of grief to take care of that right from the get-go as soon as you're taking the trailer off. So just uh, one quick thing that I thought I would share since I saw it and uh, hopefully uh, you don't have this problem that this person's going to have. Okay so I saw this trailer and unfortunately I was kind of cracking up at someone else's expense here because it is one of those unfortunate things that when you see it you're glad it's not you. So what happened here is the trailer looks like someone had the right idea to put something underneath so the jack wouldn't sink down into the ground. Uh, in this case, I don't know where the bottom of it is. It's all um, frozen in the ice and I tried pulling on the chain. I don't know if I really gave it a pull. Okay, it get better there. The electrical connection is sitting there in the water. Not really good. And it uh, looks like to me what might have happened here since the, the wheels aren't chalked on this trailer, the possibility that it slid forward and this piece of wood that was keeping it up fell over hence the trailer dropping down. And if you notice, there's no getting a trailer ball underneath this hitch right here. So this uh, is going to take a little bit of effort you know, to chisel some of that ice out and free up the trailer and get it up high enough so that it can be placed on the ball. So just be a little mindful when you are taking your trailer off your tow vehicle that things like this you know, could happen and don't assume that they won't happen and unfortunately we've all had our moments so this uh, this poor person is going to have a little bit of work to do and um, maybe I don't know if this trailer sits around long enough come springtime maybe it'll be a little bit easier but then it'll be sucked, um, sunk down in the mud so it's a lose-lose in this case I guess